the Finthorn Foundation became famous back in the 1960s when the founders, um, the caddies, um, were having to grow their own vegetables in the original garden which is still uh, in the foundation and they still grow vegetables and flowers in that garden. But this garden here is specifically for vegetables. This year our cabbages are fantastic and the foundation and the caddies became famous because of their giant cabbages and they weighed them and at the time and um, and even the soil association came up and um, they were talking about 40 pound cabbages well look at our cabbages this year they're not they're not 40 pounds but they're a, a different variety and look at them aren't they beautiful and we've just started harvesting them last week and um, one of the things I've been doing, they are my babies this year. I planted um, or arranged for the planting of these this year. And, um, and one of the things that I did this year was to give the cabbages when they were small uh, doses of worm cast tea. So come and I'll just show you. We make worm cast tea from our worm farm the the worm cast which is like a beautiful humus like substance which has been worked on in by the worms and um, and then we put some of the worm cast in the barrels and fill them up with water and then in a few weeks time it becomes a tea which we call and you certainly don't drink it but it is wonderful for for, for plants these don't need it now because but um, if uh, if I was to be to be um, uh, fertilising them, they would um, be like that. So there's the there's the tea, and it's beautiful, and the, the the plants just love it. So that is one of the reasons why our 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 cabbages this year have uh, grown so well. Um, and we might look at a couple of other fields at the same time. Okay, well, we're just here in a um, uh, nearby field um, from the cabbage. Uh, this is a replant of, um, of Asian greens and lettuces. And this is the second crop of lettuce and, uh, that is gone in this season. As you can see, we have weeds here too. Uh, but um, we have, uh, but uh, in, in amongst the weeds are very beautiful lettuces, which we have been uh, harvesting today. And also, as you can see, we use mesh uh, for some of our, um, our, our, our crops because pigeons and other um, uh, insects and so on do like our vegetables. And so we protect them with, um, with, with mesh. Not everything needs mesh, but some do. Um, so, and we use this particular garden is organic chemical free absolutely beautiful nutrient dense vegetables we grow for the community and for our guests when they are when they do come uh, when there's no pandemic um, this adjacent field here is a, a green manure crop or a cocktail a cocktail cover crop um, there's four different uh, families of um, of legumes and 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 um, uh, plants in this field. Uh, we've also got a lot of nettles too, but uh, and I had to do a little bit of scything uh, of the uh, to stop the nettles from uh, seeding. But um, this is another way of, of fertilising our fields. Apart from compost and manure, um, what happens here is that when the when the the crop gets up and before it uh, flowers and seeds, we cut it and it all goes back into the soil. So that's why it's called a green manure rather than manure that comes from animals. And in the adjacent field over there, as you, is uh, our current season of runner beans. And we have, uh, um, we make a, a trellis out of canes um, <clears throat> to allow the runner beans, they're actually climbing beans actually, so um, the runner beans 
uh, wind up the uh, uh, wind up on, on the canes. Uh, they look a little bit yellow at the moment, but they are a legume, so they will be getting nitrogen once their roots get um, they'll get nitrogen from from the air and the soil. Um, that is what legumes do. So um, they will be um, will certainly be looking a lot better in a week or two. I did give the first two rows. Um, their first uh, uh, dose of worm cast tea on the weekend so um, they they're going to be looking a lot better so uh, that will probably be the only time we we fertilize them and uh, <clears throat> so that's basically what we are doing here in the garden uh, during our lockdown and uh, we are getting uh, we have uh, also got volunteers have been coming from the community to help us because we do need a lot of help.